Hey guys, my name is Dennis and welcome to another tutorial. So this is what we're going to be creating and this is how we do it. So let's get started. All right, so let's open up Photoshop. I got a picture of a chameleon here, which I downloaded from the internet. The, li uh, the links are down below in the description box. And what we want to do is we want to get rid of the background so that we have that picture with a transparent background. So now we want to take the magic wand tool with the tolerance of around 15 and start selecting all the gray parts in the picture. Just make sure that you don't miss anything or select any parts of the chameleon or of the tree. And we also want to fill in these gaps here between his legs and his body. And once we have that we hit Ctrl Shift I in order to invert the selection followed by Ctrl J to duplicate it. And now you can get rid of the original layer if you like. But there's one more thing I would like to do before moving on. Uh, I would like to soften the edges a little. So hold down Ctrl and click on our new layer then go to select modify contract and set it to 3 pixels and then hit OK. Alright, now if we look closely you can see that our selection of course is contracted now by 3 pixels and that's exactly what we want to have. Um, but we have to invert our selection again now by clicking holding down shift Control i and make sure that the other part is now selected, then go to Blur, Gaussian Blur, and set it to about 1.3, put it to put it to 1, and then hit OK. I think that's fine, yeah. Um, now we have a nice soft edge, and yep, that's it, let's save it. Uh, let's save it as a PNG, in order to retain our transparency and I'm gonna call it chameleon transparent all right here we go in after effects um, first of all we need to import our footage um, I got another picture here which will serve us as a background and now let's create a new comp set the duration to five seconds that's just fine and now just drag our two pictures inside to our new comp. Um, we also need a camera, 35 millimeters is fine. And turn on the 3D layer switch. Okay, now let's grab our chameleon on its Z axis and bring it forward. And I wanna decrease its scale to about 42, something like that. And I wanna increase the background to around 110. Now, if we use the camera tool, we can already see something that looks like the parallax effect, but before we do that, uh, let's bring in some depth of field by turning it on in the camera options and then crank up the aperture all the way up to 400. And now we wanna keyframe our focus distance. So set a keyframe right at the beginning, then go to 20 frames and move it over to our chameleon by turning down the pixels. All right, now we have a little focus, focusing shift from the background to our chameleon right at the beginning, which looks kind of nice. And let's move this background image down a little so that our chameleon is sitting more high up in the trees. And Let's start animating our chameleon. So let's click on our chameleon layer and we will be using the puppet tool. First we want to set up some puppet pins all over its body and something like this and then ah, let's, let's just move these keyframes over to the beginning. Okay, and now Select these three pins and move its head up, something like this, and you can just play around with it and start experimenting with it. And then go to the very last frame and then move its head down and the tail up, something like this. Okay, and now as you can see, it's already moving. 
Okay, let's just keep it like this. And now we want to add some camera work to it to make the whole scene more interesting. So let's keyframe the point of interest and the position. And grab the camera tool and move it slightly to the side. Then go to the very last frame and start turning the camera around until you're satisfied with its position. Now, if you hit C on your keyboard, you can switch between the different camera tools and let's just take the one that's looking like a directional thing and go to the first keyframe and go up a little and then to the last one and then go down to create a yet another camera movement. Okay, I guess now it's time to do some color corrections. Um, um, go to your effects panel and type in curves and drag that right onto your background image and select the green channel, put it up a little, go to red, reduce it or now increase it, uh, reduce the blue and as you can see now it's working a little better and also create a contrast curve in the RGB channel. Um, I think we want to increase the aperture to 600 pixels. Um, yeah, I think that looks a little better. Now we want to add a new adjustment layer and let's drop another curves effect on it. Um, we want to play around with the colors a little more um, for the overall look. Um, just just play around with the different channels and don't forget to create a contrast curve in the RGB channel. I always like to do that. And again, this is something depending on your own taste. Um, feel free to experiment. And yep, I think this is looking quite nice now. Okay, this is it. And one last thing I always like to do is um, to create a vignette. And for that, we need to add a new solid uh, with a black background. Double click on the Eclipse tool, go to Mask, um, switch to Subtract, and then crank up the Mask Feather to around 300. And then we also want to lower the opacity to around 20. And yep i think that's it let's turn that down to 250. okay this is it so let's add this to the render queue now and go to best settings uh, leave everything as it is go to lossless i always like to use the h264 and we don't need a alpha channel hit ok and choose a name for your file I'm gonna call it chameleon slow motion and then hit render all right guys I hope you enjoyed this tutorial be sure to subscribe or leave a comment you can also check out my website for more stuff thank you very much for watching my name is Dennis and I will see you next time ciao